in this video, let's model a mini dam or mini creative dam using a rabbit mask. So in this project, I use the architectural template. Okay, before we go straight to the tutorial, I suggest you to subscribe to this channel. So it's helped me out a lot. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and share. Okay, so here I am in architectural template. Okay, so now first thing I will do is to command RP for the shortcut. And I rename it into 1. And this is 2. Okay. So now we need to set this into meters by command un for the shortcut okay and choose the meter okay so now we start to draw the shape okay of the our project so i go to massing inside in place mass okay And I just choose the point element, okay? I choose the point element because this is giving a smooth curve, okay, into your project, okay? Let's say, this is 19 meters, For example, this is, oh, let's say 23, okay? So I just come up, pick this, and command mm to mirror it in the other side okay so now once you have this okay i just simply place a point from here and here okay let's say this is 16 okay and this is 9 okay so now I just simply window it called the point element and command MB for the move. Okay, and I set this into three meters. Okay. And I just simply window it this. Okay. And hold the control shift. Okay. To copy this and of course you need to set this into 19. And this is also 19. Okay, so once you have this, okay, you just uh, hold the control shift and create a spline to all of the point element. Okay, but be careful while you connecting the spline to your point element okay so to do that one I need to window it all this one and command mm okay to mirror it in the other side okay because I want to connect this into in this part okay so I just hold again the control shift okay and of course you need to connect also this okay and now I just simply connect this also here okay and now once you have this okay go to 3d to set it on the height so you can do that by picking this, okay? If you go to the properties, you can see the offset here, and I just set it into 5. Okay, this is 16. And this is 14. Okay. And now the same is this, okay? This is 14. This is 16. 
and this is five okay so now once you have this okay you just simply place a point in these two this warning is no problem okay it's asking that you have already existing point element there but you can do it by placing up another point element okay <laughs> see you see the show related warning okay so now go to south okay and drag it this here okay and including also this one point element okay so now go back to the 3d okay and you can hold the control shift okay to connect again this three point element okay so now once you have this okay you are starting to make a extrusion for that one okay so now i just simply hold the control shift okay to select the two and create form solid form and you can see it in the bottom there is two options so i choose the one option there and i just set normalize it okay let's say tick okay and hit okay so now you can do it Okay, so that is the uh, proper, uh, proper way to make it extrusion for the all of the point element, including the reference line. Okay, so once you have this, okay, hit finish. Okay, so now what I'm going to do next is to go to massing inside. Okay, I just simply use the wall and pick this, okay pick this this unjoin element okay the edit okay i use this cutting system for that one okay and i just simply set this into circular modern 2.5 okay hit apply and hit okay so now I just simply place this hold the control shift to select okay so now it's calculating already okay so now you can go to cartoon system to set this as uh, this is two okay and this is three okay so it's more uh, accurate to our design okay so if you will see this is the one already okay so now it's okay so now what i'm going to do next is to pick this okay and edit wall okay edit edit and go to category we just put temporarily material for this project okay so now i just simply type a white here okay but you can play it 
whatever you want. Okay, the material I just want to more clear to this tutorial, so that's why I make this one. Okay, I choose this uh, kind of material. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to go to show mask and check this. Okay, command BG. Okay. This is the one, the visibility graphics, okay? And I just choose the mask here and uncheck, apply it, okay? Because I want to more clear to this, to our project, okay? So if you will see, this is in the top, bottom and this is in the top. That is the technique how to make uh, some close uh, design to your project. Okay, so now to complete this, we need to make a floor. Okay, so now I just go to architecture and use a floor. Okay, and I just simply use the pick and I just simply pick this. Okay, pick this, pick this. And this one and hit finish. Okay. So now I just simply counter check it into 3D. Okay. So this is our floor already. I just simply pick this. Okay. And again, I need to change the material temporary. Okay. Okay, apply, okay, okay. And now, I want to add some step for that one. So how can I do that? Go to South Elevation and you need to add a level. Okay, so you can pick the any level here. You can pick this and drag it on the way outside okay right click okay create similar and i just simply place a one label here okay and i just set this into point 30, 48, okay. Okay, so let's counter check here, okay. So to fix this overlapping here, you can pick this, okay, or here, to go in here and rename it okay which is negative level one okay negative ng1 for example like this okay and now you can go into the uh, level one again okay or the negative level okay go to floor okay floor and use the pick again and now I just make this into point two as the offset oh, point eight to the offset okay offset outside this is the step okay and you just simply snap this and draw a line to connect 
this, okay? Click this and draw a line like this, okay? Do not move this one because it is adjusting to the dimension, okay? So it's better this uh, procedure and you can connect it by making a line like this, okay? Drag this up to the snap, okay? And connect it into line. Okay, so if you hit finish, okay? You can see in 3D that this is the one already. Okay, so second step. So we just add again one other step, okay? Again, create similar, okay? Create similar. Twenty eight. Okay, so if you see, go to NG two. Okay, floor. Use the pick, and now I just change this into point nine. Okay, so that is the procedure how to make a step. So now let's counter check in 3D. So now you have a three step already. Okay, so we are already finished in this tutorial. I hope that it's very clear to each and everyone how to model a mini dam okay, using the point element or in place mass. Okay, it, so please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe to this channel. Okay, so again, see you in my next video.